hello, my name is Hannah Rose Allen and I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. My life changed forever at the age of 19 when I had an unplanned pregnancy. Growing up in a pro-life family, I never dreamed my beliefs would be tested. I didn't want to shame my family or live with a shattered future. I convinced myself that ending my pregnancy at only six weeks gestation wasn't really an abortion. On February the 6th, 2009, I took the RU486 pill and after a night of darkness, it was over. I was relieved to get back to my normal life. Trying to forget what I had done over the next few months, I sought comfort from my wounded, aching heart through drinking and living promiscuously. Four months later, I was pregnant again. I fooled myself into thinking I would get my life together after what I thought was another necessary abortion. The appointment was set at Planned Parenthood. However, Jesus was fighting for me and for my unborn baby. God showed me that if I chose to have another abortion, I couldn't imagine the pain and darkness that would follow. But if I chose life, I couldn't imagine the beauty that he would bring. Instead of walking through those clinic doors a second time, I chose to walk into the light towards freedom. It was as if the reasoning for abortion fell away when I knew God would be with me every step of my difficult journey. I was at peace knowing I was making the right choice, the choice of life. On March, on March 16th, 2010, ready to deliver my full-term daughter, I was told the devastating news that her perfect little heart was no longer beating. Through the lives of two babies who never spoke a word or took a breath, God is speaking that if you choose life, no matter the outcome, you will have no regrets. Through choosing life for my second child, God brought peace and healing to my heart that was broken from, from aborting my first. This is a tribute to my baby's precious lives and all God has done in me and so many others because of them. Luke Shiloh and Lily Catherine, I once wanted to be rid of you and hoped nobody would ever find out you even existed. Now I want the world to know you are my children. I promise to always be your voice and to honor you in whatever way I can for as long as I live. That's why I am silent no more and why I believe abortion should be recalled. You can read more of my story on my website at www.roseandherlily.com. Thank you. God bless.